Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today we're getting a little bit frisky, and dare I say a little bit risky. Today, we're getting our tongue wet and our tummy tickled with George Friggin Dickel Tabasco Barrel Finished Tennessee Whiskey. Before we get into tonight's tasting, I want to let you know that today's video was brought to you by our good friends over at IntoTheAM.com. Over at IntoTheAM.com, they have super sweet, comfortable, awesome, spectacular, groovy, soft, and smoothy graphic tees like this son of a bitch on sale three for 60 bucks. They also have extremely comfortable basic tees, three for 45 bucks. If you click on the link in the description below, into the am.com slash ADHD, you'll save an additional 10% on your order. And while you're there, check out their underpants. They've got some extra breathable boxer briefs that have gotten me through this heat wave. My front bum and back bum, 103 degrees, zero complaints. Click on the link and join their tea club and you'll get a free t-shirt your first month. Now that we got the business out of the way, let's get down to business which comes in a red and green bottle, and it's called George Dickel. Tabasco Barrel Finished Smooth Sip in Tennessee Whiskey. This bottle was a gift from the legendary DC. Daniel Carter, if you're watching, you're the man. He slapped a sticker on it and then sent it over to me. It says, Dick Burns Edition. Super sweet sticker from a super sweet man. I would imagine that whatever is in this bottle is gonna be unique. And by unique, I mean, I don't even know if I really wanna taste this. First things first, let's take the prophylactic wrapper off the top of it and give ourselves a little pour of the deckle juice. The wrapper has preparations so you know it's good. The heck? Wrong. America. America. Whew. Professional whiskey tasting glass. Whew. George Dickel Tabasco. <laughs> George Dickel Tabasco barrel finish, smooth sipping. Made with whiskey distilled in charcoal mellowed at Cascade Hollow Distillery, Tullahoma, Tennessee. 35% alcohol by volume, 70 proof. Oh, so it's not even a whiskey anymore. It's just a 70 proof. Something. Tennessee whiskey blended with aged Tabasco pepper mash and the essence of Tabasco brand pepper sauce. So it's not even in a barrel. They just blended it with Tabasco pepper mash. That doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> Handcrafted small batch. It's a small batch, so you know that it's good. Cascade Hollow. George was drawn here by the friendly people and the fine spring water. If you come down for a visit, you'll find that not much has changed. Tabasco brand pepper sauce. This is the genuine article. Okie dokie. McGillinner, McGinney, McGinney, Mc, Mc, M C L L H, McLenhe, Mc, McLenhe, Co. S. Okay, shut up. You stupid idiot name of your whatever. Not gonna happen. Not today. Not on my watch. Gonna put a bunch of friggin' syllables together and have me try to figure them out. Mm -mm. George Dickel. Looks like he could be on a dollar bill. George A. Dickel. In 1870, George A. Dickel began crafting the best Tennessee whiskey around. George discovered that his whiskey made in the cold winter months tasted smoother. Today, we follow this tradition by chilling our whiskey before filtering it through sugar maple charcoal. We think our unique chill filtration process makes a fine whiskey. Hope you agree. I hope so too. There's no recipes on here. There's no like, there's no like indication of how you should drink it or what kind of cocktails you should make with it. So therefore, I'm just gonna, going to assume that it's made to be a sippin' whiskey because it says smooth sippin' right on the front of it. I don't know. I guess that's how we'll do it. This is how we'll do it. It's Friday night. There we are. Right there. Let's get this Tabasco mashed asshole all dizzy and spun up and fun, spun, spunny fun spun. You can tell that there's hot sauce in there because it's hot on the dance floor. 
Look at it getting groovy. Let's go in for a professional nosing on George Dickel Tabasco. Vomit. That smells like straight vomit. Good grief. Why, why would they? Nope. No, okay. Oh. Oh. That's, that honestly smell, that's, oh. that smells like you're in a hot wing, a hot wing eating challenge, a hot wing eating tournament. And then you went to bed, woke up the next morning, went to school, threw up all over the floor, and then the janitor put the sawdust on it. That literally makes my stomach curl. Like, my stomach twisted in a knot when I smelled that. Oh. That was a legitimate gag. That, no. That does, that does not belong together. I don't want to taste that. I don't want to taste that. That smells like straight vomit. Who on earth? I Okay, honestly, I hope whoever's idea this was, whoever at the meeting raised their hand and said, I've got a great idea, and then this was your idea, I hope you're fired. I, ho I honestly hope that you're no longer for working for the company. I hope that you're collecting super large unemployment checks from the government right now and living large somewhere on the ocean, doing great things for yourself and your family, but no longer making whiskey or whiskey decisions. Because this decision was probably the worst decision ever made. Ever made. Ever. Very bad idea. And then whoever approved it, whoever said, yeah, okay, we'll do it, should probably have a talking to. And then whoever decided that you could bottle it and put it on the market also fired. What is this made for? What did you make this for? It's on, you can't even, you literally can't smell it. If you made this and smelled it and decided to bottle it, guess what, you dumb. I'm sorry, you dumb. I've seen these on clearance for like $9 and guess what? Way overpriced, way overpriced. There should be, you should, have, you should sell them for $9 with a $400 mail-in rebate and an apology note and then like, a, then like a settlement a few years later for what it did to your emotions. I don't, I honestly, what is it? I don't even know what it's made for. What did they make it for? What did they make it for? It, I mean, it can't be for sipping. You can't even smell it. Smooth, smooth sipping. Smooth sipping? This glass is definitely ruined. I would rather drink a ball of shit. A ball of solid shit. I'd rather drink that than drink this. Unfortunately, I'm not a solid shit reviewer. I'm a liquid shit reviewer tonight. Oh. No. You, you, f you. you, don't ever, do not, no, you owe everybody an apology. You sent out a press release apologizing for what you just did. Why did you do that? The palate unfortunately matches the nose. By far one of the worst things I've ever tried. Malort, delicious compared to this. How I would like in the comments below for anybody to explain to me how this is supposed to be drank. When I get mad, I close it in and I close myself off and I eat for several months straight without talking about it. But tonight, I'm mad enough to talk about it. That, this, this, disgusting, absolutely terrible. I score George Dickel Tabasco Barrel Finish Smooth Sippin' Whiskey 
an angry 0.3, a generous 0.3. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind, I'm putting out quality products to the consumers, to your consumers, that they'll enjoy. Not pranking them, or just putting something in a bottle because you made it, and now you gotta sell it. That's kind of what this is like. We made it, we gotta sell it. You didn't have to sell it. You didn't have to sell it. You could have put it in like a radioactive truck and sent it to outer space, where it destroyed space debris because it's that bad. Space debris wouldn't even want to be near it. If you made it this far, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment below. Tell, just say no in the comments. Just say no. Just leave me a no, because that's all we need to say about this is no. A big fat no.